Labor Department tells us that we had 1.3 million new claims for unemployment benefits filed last week, and continuing claims uh, remain above 18 million. And to put this into perspective, we've had elevated claims above 1 million for 16 straight weeks. They have been declining for 14 consecutive weeks, but they remain historically elevated. And to put this into some sort of broader perspective, remember that claims were below 300,000 in essentially the period before the pandemic began and the economic uh, downturn really began to gather a tremendous momentum. So uh, the reality is that uh, while we are seeing new claims decline, uh, they remain quite high. Uh, the implied unemployment rate from this level of claims is 12.5%, 12.4% to be specific, uh, which is consistent with what we saw with the June jobs report. So this does have a rolling impact on the job market. Uh, we've seen uh, a number of essentially troubling signals from retailers, whether it's bankruptcy filings or announcements on store closings. Uh, one of the major airlines just this week announcing that it may have to furlough 36,000 workers this fall. All of this suggests that uh, it's gonna be a long road to hoe, so to speak. And uh, in the meantime, uh, the livelihoods of Americans uh, are being threatened along with their lives with respect to the threat from the virus. I think on the one hand, you have Republicans who are making a priority to provide some kind of relief, but tying that to uh, essentially waivers of liability for employers and businesses because there is a fear that they'll be hit by lawsuits. On the other hand, I think it's a priority on the part of Democrats to make sure that uh, Americans who have been hard hit by the economic part of this downturn uh, can continue to rely on the government for aid of some kind. 